Hi everyone, Mary at Espresso Press Design. Thank you for stopping by. I hope you're having a great day and getting ready for Christmas. I'm a little behind, and but I'll get there, I'm sure. So today we're going to do abstract letter journal cards using paint and tape and magazines and I'll get to that in a second but first um, hi and thank you for your kind comments uh, reviews and purchases to Robin Jennifer Veronica Kelly Catherine and Linda and Bev thinking of you I hope your daughter has found a place and I hope you are feeling um, less tired, although I understand the feeling. So a uh, quick little um, overview here and I'll show you some Christmas cards I've been making. No new products this week, but I think um, by the end of the week I might have a create with me. So, if you've seen them before, you know that um, they're free for watching the video, and uh, then it will be on my Etsy shop with a video tutorial. So, I tried the um, dryer sheet glitter technique. Um, I thought about repurposing some very old Christmas cards I have and um, it didn't work. I got glitter everywhere and I actually had to seal the glitter in the dryer sheet so I was really excited about trying that but I don't know how they got the glitter to stick to the dryer sheet. I don't know how they did it but I had glitter everywhere and I can't stand that so I sealed the glitter I'm not sure if you're gonna see any glitter on there or not but that's the dryer sheet glitter technique did not work for me um, I've been doing some Christmas cards and my biggest problem is my limited number of stamps and time I am not doing a homemade Christmas card for everyone on my list this year. Last year it just drove me crazy. So I found some tags and um, some ribbon and I'm still on this same paper pack which I can't believe it's been three years and I'm still not through it. So they're just, for the most part, they're going to be simple, and I'll do a few ornate ones for the ants and the older people on my list, and that'll be the end of it. And the rest will just be store-bought cards. So, this technique, I've been playing around with this washi. And I can't wait to show you what I found by accident. So I made these abstract journal cards. And then I made a vintagey one with um, index card for people who insist on vintage. Um, just try to find classical letter styles font style fonts classical fonts and you'll probably be able to pull it off but for these two I didn't care I wanted color I didn't want whole words in some instances I just used peeled off a letter and then wait until I show you this I by accident Lert got the text only to pull off onto tape and it was an accident 
and I'll show you how to do that first, okay? And then I use that technique. Doesn't work every single time. You have to get the the paper, the right moisture, but I'm just going to show you what I did. And then I made these little tiny Polaroids and went around the edges with that technique. This was a soup label. As you can see, there's magazine texts, um, more magazine texts. This one, it, it pulled off the paper. This one, it just pulled off the text. What does that say? I think it says hooves. Um, this one pulled off the text. And I just made these little retro, pulled off the text. Little retro, um, I have this retro paper. So I just made these little retro Polaroids with some um, scrap cutoffs. So what you'll need, today I'm going to kill two birds with one stone and remind you of some other common items to use for journal cards. So today I pulled out all of my paint chips. Everybody has them probably. They come in all sizes, different shapes. Some have a window. Like, can you imagine doing something with that for a specimen? I have another one here somewhere. So that's what we're going to be using for our base or what I'm going to be using, like this. You know, I don't know which ones they still make of these, but you could color coordinate these to your journals, put your design on the back, which is what we'll be doing, and then your um, color side you can write on as a journal card. So I'm sure everyone has them, Every people use them for tags already, but, you know, I have an entire bag of them. And another source um, is a lot of times in the paint store you'll see these brochures, and they, they're nice and thick, and they also have some very nice photos that you can use for journal cards. So, so far we've went through old photos, um, typographic stripes, I suppose I could use that one, typographic stripes, unwanted photos, and vintage paper, wrapping paper. Oh, I'm just choosing out a few here. Wrapping paper, book pages, graphic for neutral journal cards. And today is washi tape abstracts. So that's what you'll need. You'll need your base. You'll need some magazines. Um, you'll need um, either some white acrylic paint, and I'm using matte, or some gesso. A plate, a stiff brush. I'm using a toothbrush because we don't want to cover up the letters. We just want it to look scratched like old paint. 
So that's how I achieved that. And then some tape and some glue, glue stick. So I'm going to be thumbing through here. If I have time, I'll do a vintage one. But I think I'm going to just start with the basics. So let me choose. I'm probably going to choose a square one just so it's easier. And I'm just going to be thumbing through here, hoping I can find some text with it's not black and white. If not, I'm going to be going to another magazine because I don't want black and white only. I want color. And if I remember correctly, this book didn't have a lot of color texts, although it had a lot of interesting images, like something like that, dog. Um, and this is where you can get your ads, your ad letters, because we're not necessarily trying to get um, words or for the um, I mean this one I had questions but for the most part you can't read any that has three for the most part you really can't read any words so that was the goal so just bear with me. Well, that would be cool, but those are probably too big. Okay, I guess I can find some here to get started. I'll probably take that guess. some paint out here. So this was all I did. I guess I'll do the paint and I'll give it a minute to dry while I do the rest. And then I just Begin scratching over the letters. See that? And I tore it out, set it aside to dry. That might be too thick actually. Some of this paper is thin, some is thick. Um, more red. I guess so. I'll give it a try. And then in some instances, I, instead of going horizontally, I went vertically and just took the entire letter. went through my magazine until I could get a 
enough colors and styles to cover a card. See, this has a lot of cool, cool text, but mostly in black and white, so I might be going to another magazine just so I can get some color. Yeah, I think I will. Like that pink. Tell this I've already been spraying this book. Um, it's probably big enough. And I'm not looking for tiny text. So I want it to be bold and graphic. ones I might be going vertical. Like that three. Like that gold. Oh, that's cool. That's a variety. Get that. Like those stars, but I don't want graphics. Cover this card. I think we do. So I'm going back to the first one, which should be dry. I'm going to flip those over. Oh, I should have got that green. I'm going to get that green. just going to do our technique and oh by the way for the second technique the lifting off text only um, I have a 50% alcohol 50% water ratio in here okay so we're just going to do what we did before Lightly spray 
And do you know that um, I've had my tape setting, sitting here for two years, never used it, and I went through almost an entire roll of tape which to me seems unbelievable. So again, we wet and then it, that dried already. That's how fast it dries with the alcohol. And I'm not going to get that dry too fast. So I guess I'll be going with a different letter. If you get it too wet, the um, adhesive dissolves on the tape. And if you get it too dry, you're, it doesn't work for me. <laughs> And I can't explain it, so it's just you're just gonna have to play around with it until you learn yourself. It's a feel, a feel kind of thing. And I'm also probably gonna get my lettering showing through here in some places. But I don't mind that because in others, it'll be covered. And you can go um, every which way on here. Doesn't have to be straight up and down. You can go vertical, horizontal. I got this. This was inspired by an abstract letter painting. Well, I'm only going to get a part of that, but I'm going to keep it anyway. And that's sticking anyway because I didn't pull up enough of the paper. Okay, let me move on to the next. What did I have here? Oh, cheer. Horizontal with this. And I didn't pick up enough, enough paper. I'm also using a new magazine here. My other Maybe I'll bring back my better homes. <laughs> I'm sure. Oh, that's another thing. Um, more of this sewer, real simple. That magazine does not work for this technique. You know what? I'm going to do that over. Because I can get more of that word. So yes, I hope I can get more of that word. No, I didn't. Come on, I want to pull up some of the magazine, not just a 
I need these to be slightly opaque. So I want to pull off some of the paper too. Maybe it's my paint. Oh, it's not working so well. Apparently I should have used my better homes. I'm getting more of the second technique than the first and I want the first. I want paper. A little more opaque. So this is just this is just a lesson that different magazines do different things. Okay, let's try this one. much better. Okay guys, this isn't what I want. It's, it's coming out abstract anyway, but maybe if I um, maybe if I don't spray it, let's see what happens. That'll actually work for me this time. Okay, yeah. Getting more of the paper. Good thing I chose a small card. That's what I want. That's more what I want. So I guess it's just a matter of different magazines are different. And I'm sure they are. Or is paper thickness all of that kind of stuff okay so I'm just going to use the tape because I know I want it full covered Let's see what happens
this was more the original technique that I saw that I could not get to work for me. Okay. So I hope everyone's doing well. I haven't, um, I've just been working. I haven't had much time this week. I haven't really seen anything that interesting. I did see one thing. I was really in. I really wanted to try that dryer sheet. I've made so few cards, except for no cards, much less cards than I usually make. So I've been having to look around for inspiration. So I'm going to trim trim all these edges once I get um, once I get through here. There's my pink. I um this is uh, this is so much fun and. <laughs> I've been finding so much stuff that, um, there you can see, you can begin to see how I accidentally, um, came up with technique number two. I've been having so much fun with this, I'm wondering why I ever bought any paper in my life. Or why I have any a room full of materials. Because I certainly have enough junk I could use for um material. Okay. One more little thing on top there, and I think that will fill up this card. And then I'll show you the second one. Now I'm getting more of the technique I didn't want. <laughs> and it must be because, well, I know why it is, but I'll get to that in a moment. <sighs> Let me get what else did I have here? Let me get some more bread. Hopefully. Come on, I want some paper. Don't want transparent. There we go. 
Well, this one certainly isn't as good as my first two, three. This looks similar enough, I guess. Okay. And again, I went through, um, let me get a letter there for the corner. I went through, um, Went through the Sizzix afterward with these. Come on. Want that A. You're not going to work. You know, unless I spray you. Maybe it's because I'm not burnishing enough. Close enough. And if you don't pick up a lot of paper, there's enough tape on there to keep it sticking. So let me just, where are we? 36 already. Are you kidding me? And now I have one sticking on the back. Oh well. Okay. So that's basically what I did. still looks cool. And I still see a little of that renaissance coming through from the back of the paint card, but that doesn't bother me. That just adds. So there's those ones. The abstracts. Close enough. Good enough. And the abstracts around the vintage lady. So let me Try now. This one probably won't work. <laughs> okay, let me get my good housekeeping back. I did this. I did this in the country living, the better homes, the good housekeeping. Let me try this, and I'm going to do this on white so that you can see. So hold my beer and watch this. Okay, I sprayed and then I got interrupted. Where did my cloth go? Where's my cloth? I got interrupted like now and it began to dry. So then I had to spray it again. And what I think happened is the alcohol dissolved the ink. And then I was able to lift the ink only. And the paper fibers got weaker.
wait till you see this. Look at that. Looks like a stamp. And I had so much fun going through my, um, the look of my table is covered with washi. I had so much fun just going through and doing that. Is it coal or what? Now, maybe someone has done this. I don't know. But um, I'm counting on you guys to help me uh, make, that bit, make this technique go viral because it is tons. For fun. Let me see if I can find that M and M again. That was awesome. Oh, let's try that Walgreens. Okay, I sprayed. And I'm fast drying this for time's sake. I sprayed. It pretty much got completely dry. Like 90%. I sprayed again because I was trying the other technique. Put my tape on. Oh, don't lose me. Don't lose me. Put my tape on. Gave it a little burnish. And up came the letters only, or the whatever only. <laughs> so there's the second. See that? Okay, let me see what else we can get here. Because I'm going to probably be putting this. I really want that M&M's. I have to. Um, I, I lived that lifted that country. This will probably be going in my photo. So. Um, and I didn't try this with. Um, packing tape, but I'm sure it might work. Okay, again, I sprayed. It dried almost completely. I sprayed again. I'm sure the alcohol is dissolving the ink and to a degree, probably weakening the fibers of the paper more. Then I lifted and there we go. 
number three. Okay, everyone, 47 minutes. I'm about going to run out of tapes. So, uh, not tape, but uh, time on my card. So, there you go. Wait. Sorry, I didn't do a vintage one, but thumbing through the magazines and all that is taking a lot of time. So, there you go. Abstract journal cards using your paint chips as a base and a back and your washi tape abstract letters. Okay, thanks again everyone. I'll see you next time. Bye. I hope you had the patience to stay through this and please like share and subscribe i think this technique has been more fun than a barrel of monkeys so have a great week i'll see you next time bye